Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Elizabeth Hevelius and her contributions to astronomy. So let's take a look at this and Elizabeth lived from 1647 to 1693 and was the wife of another astronomer, Johannes Hevelius. And she was a very active participant with her husband and his work, and in fact published on her own what is called Prodomos Astronomae. And this work cataloged the position of over 1500 stars. And it was published a few years before her death. But she did the work on this material, including both observations. So making observations of the stars, as shown in the uh, image here, as well as doing the calculations for determining the positions of these stars. So this was the big work at the time was looking at observations and cataloging all of the stars that could be seen. And we're noting that now that telescopes had been invented, we're finding more and more stars. So previous the naked eye stars had been cataloged. Now we're working on other stars that were not previously visible. And Elizabeth worked on a number of improvements, including improvements in the accuracy of the instrumentation and the methodology that was used. So increasing the accuracy of the observations. And we can see some of the observations here uh, in the image showing Elizabeth and Johannes using various devices to be able to accurately measure the positions of stars. Now you note that some were done without telescopes as well. Still devices were used like these that had been used traditionally to make accurate measurements and to be able to measure the positioning of the stars. But the improved instruments were of importance because we were being able to measure things far more accurately now. As the technology improved and we added things like telescopes and more accurate measurements were possible and could make very much more accurate observations. And therefore we needed to improve those and to adjust the methodology used to make these observations. What had been done in the past was no longer longer really necessarily working the same. So the work had to be improved. And that is one of the things that Elizabeth worked on during her life. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary. And what we've looked at is that Elizabeth was an active participant in research with her husband, who was also an astronomer. She published the Prodomos Astronome, which was a comprehensive catalog of over 1500 stars with accurately now accurately determined positions. And she provided innovation in both the observations and the technology used for those observations and the methodology of the calculations used to determine the positions of those stars. So that concludes this lecture on Elizabeth Hevelius. We'll be back again next week for another to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.